So I get up at about 6 a.m. every morning to walk my dog Cooper, and this is kind of the schedule I built for him ever since he was a puppy. But looking back at it now, this was such a bad idea just because it's always so cold in the mornings and he likes to take his time sniffing like every single thing that we walk by. So there is a reason why I do this though, and it's because I recently got into day trading in the stock market. We're gonna trade tonight! Woo! Yeah! We're gonna get the ladies tonight! Yeah! And we ain't gonna take shit from anybody, boy! No way! Oh, cause is a bottle ball! Yeah! Bottle ball! <laughs> and that opens at 6.30 a.m. every day. So if I want to do that, I got to walk him before the market opens and then be back at my desk. And I'm okay with that just because sometimes you just got to make sacrifices for something you're passionate about. Am I right? So I think there is a common misconception about public accounting that people don't know about is that not everyone does accounting or tax or you know whatever. I've had a lot of people ask me to do their tax returns or you know you know answer some accounting question and I'm like, "Bro, first of all, I don't know crap about tax. I mean, granted, I do have my CPA. I don't know jack shit about tax. So if you guys ever ask me any tax question, I'm going to refer you to Google. So this is pretty much a normal working day. I'm working at my desk about six, seven, maybe eight hours a day for the most part. Um, listen to some lo-fi music. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's uh, the one I'm listening to currently is Cozy Christmas Beats, lo-fi hip hop music. So uh, you know, keep it chill, keep it, keep it relaxing. You know, the work itself, no one is gonna die if you do it wrong or if you do it late. So that's always my thought process. So what is it like to work at a big four public accounting firm? Before we start, I just wanna be absolutely brutally honest with you. Like no capping out here whatsoever. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. Whatever your friends, your family, whoever's talked to you about public accounting before, whatever they have said, is absolutely true. So there are three things that I will tell you right now, and if there's more that you wanna know, just comment below. So the first thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about, and everyone always talks about it, are the hours that you work. Everyone thinks that the hours you work are crap. <laughs> and let me tell you something, hours in public accounting are absolute dog crap. Like you could get lucky, and be put on a really good team working normal human hours like nine to five or nine to six. But for the most part, most of us pawns out there are working 60 or 70 hours on a weekly basis. And if you're really good at your job, like you're a high performer, you're an overachiever, all that other crap, then you get the opportunity, the bonus of a lifetime from your company to pick up the slack of other people, you get more clients, and you get more work. Buckle up, baby, are you kidding me? Now you would think that more work means higher pay, but that ain't happening. Every level is capped out by a certain dollar threshold per area. So let's say I'm a senior associate in LA making 90K, and I'm in the one percentile. The next guy after me, who's way better than me, outperforms me in every category, cannot make more than 90K because that's all that the company can pay you at that level. So this leads into the next thing I wanna to talk to you about, which is the pay. 
So if we calculate our dollar per hour, like our salary divided by the number of hours that we work, I don't think we're making much more than someone at like McDonald's or at a retail store. Now for some people in public accounting, their pay is pretty well, but that depends on the service line you're in. But for the most part, I think most people would say that they wish they were paid a little more than someone who's making french fries right now. The last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the people that you work with in public accounting really impact whether you like public accounting or whether you wish you never joined. For people in audit especially, like you're put on engagements for like 10 weeks, 12 weeks, 14 weeks, however long they staff you on there before, you're on the same team with the same people for that period of time you really have to make an effort to like them. Cause if you don't, you're gonna be suffering and miserable for a really long time. Take it from my experience when I was an associate, my very first engagement was absolute crap. Like I had another associate on the team who was like my buddy, my homie, but the manager, the partner, that whole team otherwise was absolute dog shit. And it made me regret joining public accounting. And I was three months into the firm. So the fact that I'm still here right now, I'm just surprised. Yeah, I don't know how I'm still here, but I need to get some work done and we will talk in a bit. So I just finished my work and I'm gonna go play some basketball right now because if you know in public accounting, for the most part, all you do is sit at your computer all day and I'm feeling kind of chubby right now and I felt that way for most of the year. So basketball is a way for me to stay in shape or at least try to not be fat. Hey Cooper. So I'll pretty much end it here. That has been the day of my life for the last nine months and that's pretty much what the normal day is for someone in public accounting, minus the commuting to the client site. For the most part, I get up, I do the stock markets, and then I work. And after that, I go work out. So pretty normal day, I would say. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions at all about public accounting, the work I do, uh, the interview process, all that other crap, be sure to comment below, or you can DM me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever. I'm always open to helping because I know that I wish someone helped me out. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll respond to anything. If you guys do like these type of videos, be sure to comment below what else you want and I'll be sure to uh, make that happen. Yeah, right Cooper? <laughs> All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Um, like the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.